guys, your girl AC, and I'm back mm -mm. with another, what another, uh, a video. What's up, y'all? You guys, and I'm back with another video. Today we're doing the second upload of the mom vlog or the mom talks. I I was really shocked that I got that many views and I got that like that much feedback about the first mom vlog. I didn't know you guys was really gonna like it like that, but I really I'm really glad that you guys do because I really do like making it. I actually wanted to post this video last week, but I was super sick. Like you guys will see it in the next vlogs. I was so sick. I really like I my voice literally just came back. So don't even like don't even think about why my voice is still like sounding weird it's just weird yeah but today i did like a little quick get ready with me we're talking about postpartum depression and uh boosting your confidence confidence back after the pregnancy and i also explain you guys a little bit in short terms uh how i found out that i was pregnant and what actually caused me to have postpartum depression now that i think about it i don't really tick like what postpartum depression actually is so i'll Put it right here but uh it's a very quick 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 video so you guys will just see me like doing real quick 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 as you guys see like, i'm still doing real quick 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 because i actually have to be somewhere yeah please 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 subscribe like a lot of you guys are not subscribed and i just please subscribe. I mean, if you enjoy watching my videos, I don't know why you're not why you're not subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video as well. If you guys ever have like questions or you guys want to talk as moms, like mom to mom, please don't be afraid to send me on Instagram or on TikTok. I love communicating with you guys. I love talking to fellow mothers, even if you're not a mother and you just have questions. I love answering them. So please don't be shy. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, then just keep on watching. Watching. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start with our hair. I installed this hair myself. This is a, I think, like two, one and a half, two bundles, and all of my hair, the rest is leave out. Honestly, I am so proud of myself because I need to go and get my straightener. Let's zoom in a little bit. I actually did this hair all by myself. I did not vlog it. Just a little piece. So if you want to see like a little piece of the of how I did it, let me know. But I'm actually getting ready to go to a program. My first ever brand invite. Ooh, so excited. But this is like an in-house thing. And I had a plus one. So I'm so I invited Wendy. Hi Wendy. We're gonna be doing the hair and then I will start explaining to you guys the rest. So let me just like speed up the process so we can get into our little chit chat. I'm gonna be looking this way because my mirror is over here so let me explain you guys how i got pregnant i do have like an in-depth video about that so if you guys are interested in that video i'll link it down below but funny story it wasn't planned long story short i basically found out that i was actually pregnant when i was um 22 weeks which is uh, literally in your last trimester so needless to say i was super scared it was during lockdown it was during lockdown i just got my driving license and i was randomly just looking for houses just because i was making enough money to get out of the house and you know i was at that age where you know i was just thinking about money 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 single at the time broke up with my son's dad literally a few days after i got pregnant i just did not know that i was pregnant but one thing about me i did not stress the moment that i found out that i was pregnant because i was really like i believe in god i'm a very christian person like i'm very religious i, I won't say that i'm like super christian and i'm really such a goody two shoes no i make mistakes I do stuff. I mean, I got pregnant when I was 20. So I can't be lying over here talking about, oh, I'm such a good person. I'm not saying that, but I'm really religious. And I truly do believe that everything happens for a reason. So when I found out that I was pregnant, I mean, I have the video. If you guys want to see my reaction of me, like actually saying it out loud for the first time, I was really scared. I knew that God had me and my son, but, you know, I was just afraid of, 
will I be a good mom and will I still be able to like achieve my goals and you know because at that time I was really into YouTube I was really like enjoying my life living life just going out having fun as a 20 year old and I mean I was making good money so needless to say I was really enjoying <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie I was I was enjoying babes but you know God has God has its own plan for you I found out on my mom's birthday so I remember the day before me going to the hospital and mind you I was just going for a normal checkup like I was going for a normal checkup because I wasn't getting my period anymore but I wasn't afraid because because I actually took out my spiral my birth control and they told me the doctor already told me that it could be that my my period doesn't come for for an amount of months so I wasn't really like going with the idea of, oh, I'm pregnant. I was actually just going with the idea of, let's see how far my uterus is, how how, I'm, how am I healing from um, having that thing in me for a period of time, you know? I was not thinking that I was pregnant. But yeah, so I found that I was pregnant, super scared, but really happy at the same time because one day before then, I was with a very good friend of mine, shout out to you, Stephanie. And she was telling me like, I see you bawling and stuff, you're enjoying life, but you don't seem happy. And I was like, I mean, you're right, you know, cause I wasn't, I really was not happy at the time. I was having like a lot of brand deals and a lot of things were happening for me, but I felt like I wasn't really, I didn't know why I was doing all this. I didn't know why I was living the life that I wanted, that I was living. And I did not know what my purpose was, you know, I did not have a purpose in everything that I was doing. And that was really a bummer. So as we started talking, because she's a very good friend of mine, so we always have like these very deep and intellectual conversations. And then she was like, don't worry, God will reveal. Don't worry about it. Just live you. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Blah, blah, blah. Next day, I found out that I was pregnant and everything got super clear for me. So I was really happy and I never really thought about it again. I kept my pregnancy a secret until my son was one month year, one month old. Because I was moving at the time, I was moving, I was making videos, making content with my sisters. I, I did my house tour at like eight months, super pregnant, super big belly, everything secrets. I was normally supposed to live with a roommate, but um, that didn't go as planned. I was just doing a lot. I mean, if you know me, you know I'm really a hide in plain sight type of person i could be going through something really crazy and you would never know because i would never tell you and i'll be standing in, right in front of you and you won't even notice because i don't know i'm just i don't know i guess i'm a musician i'm kind of like a musician actually so it came to a point in my life where i was like i just want to be the best mom that i can be regardless of what i have to do and i literally i did not i don't want to say sacrifice because i don't feel like it was a bad sacrifice to make but i did really just quit everything for an for a period of time and really just focused on my son and they tell you about postpartum depression like you'll hear the doctors talk about it and tell you that it's a real thing but in your mind you're like no <laughs> no Especially as a black woman, you see all your aunties, your mom and stuff, like, they don't talk about it. They don't talk about how a pregnancy can really, like, what happens after the pregnancy. What happens when you get a C-section? What happens when you're in the house with your child 24-7? Especially, the biggest problem that I had was that I was very, I'm a very adventurous person. I love going outside. I love meeting new people. And then, once I became a mom, all that stopped. I did not want to go outside anymore. I did not want to see people anymore. I just wanted to be with my son 24-7. And that's that. And the first year, year and a half, that was perfect. That's what I did. I hardly went outside. I hardly saw people. But especially in the my passion and the field that I want to really grow in, you have to meet people. You have to be outside. You have to get to know uh, people, you know? So that was really a very big, big, big struggle, struggle for me. And that actually led to my postpartum depression. And I can be real honest about it now. 
I did not know that I was depressed for a very long time. Like, I didn't believe in it. So I didn't, I, like, I never really gave myself the chance to even think, like, maybe you're depressed. Maybe you do need a break. I'm also a very prideful person. So I wasn't the first to say, like, oh, I need a break. Like, I need to, I need a day for myself, you know? Every time that you guys see me, like, disappear, it wasn't because I was getting too much. It was because I actually just did not love myself anymore. There was a time where I actually didn't even leave the house anymore. If it wasn't for my son, I wouldn't, like, go out. My friends know this way too good. Like, they hardly saw me. Yeah, and I'm a very good faker. Like, as a, I know, and that's why I said I'm not really like Christian Christian because I'm about to say something that's really not Christian. But as a Pisces, <laughs> as a Pisces, you're not a lot. Um, what is that in my eye? Is that a booger? Girl? Oh no, that's glue. From where is the glue? <laughs> Anyways, Pisces are really good at smiling in your face. But there's literally a dagger in their back. Like, seriously, we are great hiders. We're great fakers. We're really good at just being mischievous. <laughs> if, I mean, if you know a Pisces, you would know. And if you don't, that means you're one of the people that they're hiding from. <laughs> but yeah, we're great hiders. We're, we hide in plain sight. We'll tell you that we're actually doing great when in reality we're suffering. Hello? Like, we will literally be dying and we'll still be telling you, like, oh, no, I'm great. I'm fine. How are you? How's your life? You know? Terrible habit, but it is what it is. That's how we are. So, I was really going through it and actually, not like, not really telling anyone. Plus, I never really talk about this, actually. But during my pregnancy, I found out that I have an immune disorder. So, that's also something that I have to, like, deal with. All the, on a regular basis like I wasn't only going to the doctor for my son I was also going to the doctor for myself and that actually really takes a toll on you like real bad <laughs> but um, I was always late for my meetings when I had appointments with my friends I wouldn't show up I stopped doing my my lashes which my lashes were actually like one of the only things that were actually persistent in my in my life I used to go every week if you watch my vlogs you know like I would never skip a beat never like my life will be a mess but my lashes will be on point period all the time like fleeky to fleek fleek not going nowhere in my house 24 7 with my son but I will still be looking good like I will literally be able to fly away if I wanted to but then one day I had an appointment and I'll like go and date somebody I'm just being real honest with you guys because I feel like you can always learn from people and I'm not ashamed to tell you guys my mistakes because I hope that you will never make that mistake but I'll literally go and date somebody just so I don't have to deal with myself and I'll take somebody that has mad problems so that I can just take care of them instead of taking care of myself <laughs> So that's what I actually did. Started dating someone and all love to him. Good person, real good. But I knew it wasn't gonna be all day. Like I knew I wasn't gonna be marrying this. I knew it was just a phase. I knew he was just, he was fine in the eyes, but he had a, he had like some problems. I knew I knew how to fix him. So I was like, come here. Let me, let me take care of you. Let me be there for you. But then one day I had an appointment with my lash tech, Kiki. Hi, Kiki. And I came there and I did not shower. I'm a type of person like, I'll go to my lash tech with heels. If I could even wear makeup to go, I would wear makeup. I got there and I wasn't wearing shit. I wasn't wearing no makeup. I wasn't wearing no heels. I was wearing sweatpants. I did not even take a shower and she knew immediately. And that's when she actually sat me down and was like, girl, you need to fix yourself. Like you need to fix yourself real quick. Now, one thing about postpartum depression, you might think that you only have it once. You don't. No. You can have it a couple of times. And you won't even really know. Like, it'll come and it'll go. And it'll come and it'll go. And it will come and it'll go. But you still have it, babes. It just comes in sections, I guess. It just comes in, a, in periods. So I entered her house looking a hot mess. Smelling a hot mess. And she was like, this is not okay. So she literally... And that's why I really love my friends. And I feel like that's the number one thing that you should know. Friends can really save your life. You need honest friends. You need people to like actually tell you like, no, your life is a mess. You need to fix that real quick before 
before it's too late because that's actually what she did she literally told her two other clients that she had that day that she wasn't gonna make it that she had a family emergency because we literally do see each other as a fam as family and that whole day she spoke to me talking about how i have to really you know think about life and not give up and really try and not get in that gloom because it's not looking cute on you babes it ain't cute so that's how i really started thinking Oof. and i used to have those dips like i used to be like some days i'll be very happy and then another period of time i'm not happy at all i don't go to the gym anymore i don't do all that you know so then I really started thinking like, what is postpartum depression? What does it actually mean? Is there anything that I can do to fix this? Because I knew that I couldn't really go and tell my family because they'll just be like, I already knew my mom would be like, what are you talking about? And I really don't even think that it's like, they think that they're better or whatever, but it's more like that doesn't exist where they come from, you know? Some things you can't really hold anyone accountable for if they don't understand because they just don't, they've never lived it. They've never had to experience that, you know? So I really did know. The lighting is going to change because I'm actually using natural lighting, but it's about to rain. So I'm so sorry. So I really did know that I had to like really think about it. I'm so sorry. The Christian version of postpartum depression, in my opinion, really just says that you're not feeding your spirit. Your spirit is down because you're not feeding it what it needs. And I'm really Christian, so I really just went to that. And then I started thinking, okay, what do I actually do that really makes me happy? What is really important to me? What do I value in life? Oh my God, is that hell? Oh, hell no. That skirt that I was gonna wear is gone. <laughs> Anyway, so what did I used to do that I can still do that actually really does make make me feel comfortable as a human being? What is really essential in my life? What makes me happy and all that stuff. So I really started thinking about it and I already knew like, oh my God, like literally my grass is white. <laughs> And that's how I started realizing, like, number one for me is going to the gym. If I don't go to the gym, I might as well just, you know, I might as well just call the doctor and tell them that I'm going to practice again. Because honestly, the gym to me, it gives me discipline in life. It makes me not give up as quick as I usually do. Doing my hair and my nails is important to me because to me, it's a way of showing myself that I still love myself and that I'm not only a mom, I'm also a MILF, <laughs> okay? I'm a MILF. Challenging myself because I actually realized that I'm actually not a very extrovert person, I'm actually really introvert, but I love challenging myself and that was what I was missing in life. I wasn't challenging myself anymore. Like now being a mom is second nature to me. I can do it with my eyes closed, you know? But that was actually all that I was still doing. That's what was causing my depression or my anxiety to go up so quick because i wasn't really doing anything that was giving me meaning in life anymore oh thank god it stopped raining okay so the moment that i actually realized that that was my actual problem i started focusing on that and i actually also just gave myself time to feel how i want to feel give my body the time to be depressed give my body the time to have a burnout give my body it's the time to to not feel my best like it's okay we're human beings we're not meant to be happy bubbly perfect all the time this is not a cartoon this is not i always say this is not disney world we're gonna feel sad some days we're gonna feel bad some days the most important thing is that when you actually have those times and those periods in life that you give yourself the time to feel it you have to give your body the time to feel it actually feel sad feel depressed feel lonely you have to be able to feel that's really important. I also started really looking at my friends or which one of my girls dares to really put me in check. Tell me like, no, babes, you are doing it wrong. This doesn't look cute on you. Stop it. It looks ridiculous. You know, those are the people that I really started ex like really grasping on to. Like not really grasping on. Then it sounds like I was obsessed with them or something. But like I was just really grateful for her. 
so yeah that really did a lot for me i also made little changes like i stopped eating um junk food i stopped doing things that i just don't like you know like for instance i didn't like how my belly belly was starting to look so i started going to the gym and i started fixing that as simple as that i didn't like that i was so lazy so i just stop being lazy and honestly it's okay when one day you feel like today i want to be lazy but way out of proportion like i wasn't laying down in my in my bed more than actually seeing the sunlight and enjoying my day i started journaling a lot i didn't like that i wasn't really as close with god as i used to be so i started journaling started praying to god started singing to god and don't get me wrong like i don't want to sound like i'm perfect because i'm really not i struggle with it every day i struggle with it every day because never 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 think that postpartum depression or depression in general can just up and disappear. You'll always have it. It'll always be something that you have to like deal with, but you just choose how long you stick in it. And that's just what I've learned. You choose and you dictate how long you stick into feeling depressed, feeling sad, feeling mad with the world, not getting out of your bed. It's all you. You can't put it on nobody but yourself. You choose how you feel and it's as simple as that. And the moment that I realized that, everything changed for me. I don't feel like depression ever really leaves you. You just learn how to cope with it. You learn the little things or the little signs that you get from your body before it gets really bad, then you just choose, am I gonna like accept this? Am I gonna go deeper in it? Or am I actually just gonna give my body the time to go through how it's feeling and then do things that I know that soften the depression or whatever you wanna call it, you know? I just call it like a little downtime. It's your body reloading to be the bad that it is, period. Just give yourself grace and love yourself. That's the most important thing. Look in the mirror and actually tell yourself, like, it's gonna be okay. It's fine. This is just a minor setback, babes. Give yourself time. Enjoy the ride, honestly. Enjoy the ride. I really feel like everything that you go through in life, one day you'll be like, remember when I was so sad and I did not even go out, you know? Oh, my number one tip most definitely would be not to fake it because i see so many so many people faking life on social media and in reality they're so sad and so depressed like you're only making it worse for yourself because you're gonna be looking at the, these posts and really be like no one really knows how bad i have it that's ridiculous why would you want to live like that I know you might think like, oh yeah, but it's so easy to say stuff like this, but it's really not easy to do. That's what I said. I know it's difficult to actually make that chance uh, or make that difference. Yes, to actually make the step to want to be a different person and want to change your entire life. You think I don't know that? Girl, I did it. Oh my God, where are my lashes? Where's my other lash? Okay, so let me finish it up. Okay, that's that. Yeah. So I put some jewelry on. Okay, so now we need to do our lippies. This is like my super quick one, cause girl, I'm late. Running late. If you guys want the full outfit, it's on TikTok. Go and check that out. But last but not least, I wanted to say, I want you guys, and when I say you guys, I mean ladies. I want you ladies to understand that you are a female like there is nothing except God that is powerful than you are you are the only thing in this world that brings life actual life so just know that what you're going through is temporarily and one day you're gonna laugh about it just know that you're so incredibly strong and we women we females we don't get enough credit we are so strong i just want you to understand that you are a female you should be proud of everything that you're going through your body can handle all of it don't think that it's the end of the world i don't want you to think that you're gonna stick in that same position trust and believe me girl one day you will get out of it and you will laugh about it this is your body taking the time that it needs forcing you to take the time that you need look in the mirror my neighbors are so annoying. I want you to actually look in the mirror and tell yourself, I am woman. I'm strong. 
I am incredible. Without me, there is no life. And actually make your, like, actually you believe that because it's the fact. If this is a fact, this is not being egocentric or whatever they want to tell you. No. You should be proud of the fact that you're a female. Give yourself the time that your body needs and I'll bet you you'll get out of it. That was the video. I have to go. Like, I have to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are enjoying this mom talks. I really enjoy making them. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. Share with a mom. Share with a mom-to-be. And yeah, have a nice day. Have a blessed life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.